Right. When I turn 70 years old, and when I'm sitting on my yard, and I'm, when I'm playing with my grandkids, I want to look in their eye, and I want to tell them that this is the legacy that your grandfather has left behind. This is the kind of technology that we have left behind. And to do that is when I started my quest to quantum. I started my journey on quantum about four years back. My name is Raghunath Kodwayor, heading marketing and communications at IQM. So, we as human beings have a very limited understanding of the universe. And we are still trying to figure out how can we understand the nature better. There are many problems that we have not solved, be it a biology, material science, be it around automobile, finance, there are many, many that we, yet, we are yet to solve. But we also have many issues today. We have the computation issues, we have hardware limitations that we are reaching. We also have issues around energy. And even if there is one person possibility that quantum can hold the promise and can deliver and solve these problems, we as humankind should take this up. So in my over next six and a half minutes, I'll be covering three stories. Three inspiring stories, one about quantum, the second inspiring story about how quantum computers work, and the third important story demonstrating a quantum computer here. Unlike most startups, we live in Finland. We are a Finnish company. I have been, Finland is an adopted home. And where family life is more important, and family life and work life, there is a strong balance. So it's no surprise that IQM was born in a kids' activity park. When our founders' kids were playing with Lego bricks, these guys were laying the foundation stones of IQM. And just uh, 20 minutes away from this place is where IQM's birthplace, or the idea at least, the genesis started. Fast forward now, four quantum physicists who started the company. It has grown to over 200 plus employees. We have now become the European leader in building quantum computers. We have over 39 nationalities, and every day we build quantum computers for the well-being of humankind. What a, what's the momentum about in business? We have become uh, the European leader with over 50 million euros of contract sales. We also have delivered the first quantum computer to VTT Research Center in Finland. We are currently building, as we speak, a quantum computer in Germany, which will act as a quantum accelerator for the supercomputing center. And we deliver the full stack systems, including design, including fabrication, quantum processors, and also the software. Building a deep tech company also requires deep pockets, and we have strong investors on board led by World Fund. We closed our Series A2 round this summer of 128 million euros. We also have European Innovation Council, European Innovation Bank, Tencent, Open Ocean, Maki VC, all of us on our cap table who have believed in us and who have supported us. The second story that I promised is on the quantum computer and how it works. Let's quickly take a look at the video. What you see on the screen are microwave pulses. We are going from a microwave generator directly through different cables. This is a dilution refrigerator where it's going on, and then it'll reach a quantum processor. So these microwave pulses, as you see, are traveling through cables going to the quantum processor. So all the magic that we are talking about on the quantum phenomena happens through these quantum processors. The lights that you see are just an illustration to show how qubits work or qubits can work, which are both a super computing, a super positioning, entangling, and a lot of quantum phenomena. And when the quantum computer is actually closed, this is the visual that we are working towards of building a quantum computer inside a supercomputing center. Now the question that would ha we have is, is it already available? And how do we see it? So yes, it's already available. We have already delivered the first one at VTT. So let's see a real demo which will be controlled from the backstage. So if you can go on to the demo, please. So where they'll switch the screens. And for the first time, this is the third which you'll see is the quantum accelerator where Lumi, which is Finland's supercomputer, one of the fastest and the greenest supercomputer, now connecting to Helmi, 
which is Finland's quantum computer delivered by IQM. So the, way, uh, the team, what they're trying to do is now they're trying to send a simple programming into the quantum computer through the supercomputer. How many of you have done computer programming here? A quick raise of hands, about 20%. So now go back to the first time you coded, the first time you did your Hello World program. This is going to be that kind of a moment, a simple program but the, for the first time when you opened your laptop or PC and you coded. For the others who are non-programmers, try to recall the first time you went on to Google and you went and searched for something. The simple basic thing and you got an answer back and the aha moment. This is again like that. It's not a complex quantum algorithm, it's a simple flip of a qubit. So we are trying to flip, it's a five qubit uh, quantum computer, we are trying to uh, flip one qubit at a time. So a supercomputer trying to flip a qubit on a quantum computer. And we'll soon start receiving one by one the results. Qubit one, the success rate is 94.9. This is not again great. So this is a customer's way they are adapting, the way they are optimizing the quantum computer. But still, it's a significant step because these two powerful machines, the powerful machine of today is able to speak to the powerful machine of the future. And then you can see the second qubit, the third qubit, and the success rate comes in. So can we use the quantum computers today to solve problems? The answer is we still need to wait for a few more years. The reason is there is an error, right? So there is some error that you see. The probability which it calculates, it's only correct at 89% or maybe 95% or in many cases 99.9%. .9%. But we have not still hit 100% accurate quantum computers. That's why there is still a wait. If we can switch back, to the slides, please. So the three things that I promised, one, story about IQM, second, how quantum computers look and will look, and these are really available right now, 20 minutes away in our labs, and the third one is the customers are already using it and it's already connected to a supercomputer. Good news about growth startups, we are always on the lookout for great talent. Now I'll go back to my story. As a granddad, when I'm looking at my grandkids, I wanted to say that I'm leaving a legacy behind. I have two boys, eight years and four years old. But my biggest worry these days is this is a legacy I'm leaving behind for my kids. For my grandkids, maybe I will need to look for something new in 15 years' time because quantum computers is fast approaching and it will be here, it is here, and this will be the future. If it is a bet, Let's take it, let's together get into this quantum era. Thank you. Thank you.